And we're live. What's going on, guys? What is going on? This is Danny with Concrete Marketing Crew. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about tips for marketing your concrete business on Google. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, welcome aboard. If you're listening in on our podcast, Your Concrete Success Podcast, welcome aboard. Uh, my name is Danny Barrera again. We're with uh, Concrete Marketing Crew. And what we do is we help flat work and decorative concrete contractors in the United States double their leads with our marketing plan, our concrete marketing plan. So here's the bottom line is if you're a concrete contractor, flat work or decorative concrete contractor, you know. You know that what you do is special, there is specialty, but it is a big headache to try to work with just an average and every day a generalist marketing agency and trying to explain your services, especially if you're in, in the decorative concrete space. Uh, so in this video, what I'm gonna be sharing with you is some of the tips and strategies that we use to help our concrete coatings contractors generate leads from Google search. We're gonna have another follow-up video next week on how to actually run a Facebook ad for your concrete coatings business. Uh, and this, this conversation is going to apply very well for the residential concrete coatings. So if you do any type of garage floor coatings, epoxy floorings, uh, polyaspartic, whatever the case is, this is gonna be great for you. If you like doing the metallic epoxies, the garage floors, inter interior floors, this is gonna be a great conversation for you. And if you focus in doing commercial concrete coatings, well, I'll share with you how you can get some of those commercial projects as well using Google search. So uh, what you're looking at, if you're watching this video on YouTube uh, right here, it's going to be uh, uh, my screen, my handy dandy screen, and I like to go to google.com and just straight up. So the first thing is understanding how potential clients are searching for your concrete coatings services. That is the first thing. Uh, so with that being said, not everyone is gonna go onto Google and type in concrete coatings. Uh, and uh, something that happens is uh, whenever you go to google.com in your service area, you're going to get a few suggestions that come up automatically. These suggestions do vary from one area to the next. So I am based out of Coral Springs right now. This is where our office is. And you get to see that some of the auto suggestions, let me make this a little bit bigger, uh, auto suggestions that come up here, if you can see that, uh, one of them is uh, concrete coatings, which is the main term right there, then we have concrete coatings near me, then we have concrete coatings acid stain, right, someone's looking for acid stain, someone's looking for cost, this is gr a great lead uh, type of search, concrete coatings for garage floors, concrete coatings for pool decks, uh, concrete coatings for driveways, concrete coatings for patios, concrete coatings epoxy. So uh, let me go ahead and do concrete coatings for garage floors. And uh, I wanna share with you what comes up right here on Google search. So we're on google.com. The top section is comprised of the Google ads. This is pay to play. This is pay to get in front of the line basically. And uh, really what this entails and what this means to you as a concrete contractor is number one, if you don't know how to run Google ads, this can really eat up your money just overnight. Clicks for concrete coatings, uh, depending on your service area, are not going to be less than $5 for specific type of garage concrete coatings, for example, garage floor coatings. Uh, depending where you are, are uh, certain clicks are not going to go down. So I'll share with you some of that data in a minute, but you know you can eat up your budget very, very, very quick. Uh, and uh, you know th there's a downside and an upside. So uh, on the downside is if you don't know how to run um, or how to target the right keywords, you're going to just waste your advertising dollars. Number two is if you don't know where to send people to and how to generate lead from the ad that will create problems for you because you're not going to end up with leads you're going to end up with a whole bunch of visitors to your website but no conversions or no leads right no phone calls no form submits on the other hand on the other hand if you do know how to run ads and you know how to target the right prospects i can tell you that leads that come from google search for from uh, residential homeowners or architects or developers, builders, whatever the case is, that are looking for someone are more likely to convert 
uh, at, at a much higher rate than if a lead comes from any social media channel. So uh, social media may mean a Facebook ad, may mean a, 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 an Instagram uh, visitor that just happen to browse through some of your pictures and they like what they saw but you know they're interested but they're not so yet convinced that they need your service they're interested may not be ready to make a decision so when we take those comparisons one versus the other google leads always convert better so uh you know that those are the pros the pros is you can definitely get high quality leads that convert fast meaning more money in the bank for you and if you know how to do this the right way, this becomes like an eight, like a vending machine. You put in a dollar in, you get two dollars out on the other end. This is what it really comes down to. And these are exclusive leads, right? So they come straight to you. So uh, when we look for concrete coatings for garage floors, uh, you see the ads come up on the top section, and then also on the right hand side, you get to see the product, right? So. Um, Google is running the Google Shop ads for concrete coating products, uh, which they're being targeted right there, uh, $200 plus a bucket. And then we have some organic results, some video results there. And the reason why this comes up this way, guys, is because uh, they, Google looks at the user behavior with their platform. And a lot of times, if they're putting up the videos on the top section, that means that the audience in that specific service area are looking for videos, are looking or they're engaging more with the videos more than anything else. And then they might have some questions, etc. If I take this same question and I change my location, let's go and see, um, change my location here. And I'm going to go and use I search from and uh, put in the same concrete coatings for garage floors. And I'm going to change it to San Diego. I used that one yesterday. San Diego right there uh, make that same search you get to see that we have Google Ads on the top section the video comes up video comes up we got some some different questions here and then we have the Google Maps which is customized to that so that means that consumers are, are looking for for uh, videos they're looking for ideas for garage floors um, and then and then what I like to do again is is in that service area since I changed my location here just click again on the search uh, bar there and you can see a whole different list of variations of keywords that come up so best best garage floor coatings right that's another search term garage floor coating contractors near me that's a buyer term if we click on that one you get to see that the the, the displayed search results are going to be different so what do i mean by that the google ads come up on the top right google ads and then we have the google map section and this is where the magic starts happening. This is where if you really get a grip on this deal right now, where I'm sharing with you right now, you can make money on demand basically. And you can be in control of, of, of generating more projects at will. So, so the first thing is, if you're not showing up on the map section, on the Google map section, uh, and, and someone's looking for a, a garage uh, floor coatings contractor near you, and you're not coming up on the top section in your main service area, uh, you're losing money so you it's it's if you don't have that going for you on the meantime what you can do is run some Google ads uh, in targeting those specific keywords in that specific service area so that you can get yourself up there and uh, what I encourage you to do is to optimize your Google my business profile like that is the one the one source that I can tell you could be your sales machine it could be your lead machine. It could really be a big, big uh, booster for your revenue if you are targeting the right search term. So again, uh, if, if you don't know how to do this type of research, you can contact us at concretemarketingcrew.com uh, and schedule a free concrete marketing strategy call where we do all the keyword research for you in your service area. We tell you the different service you offer. And basically what, what, what uh, the different services that, that, that they have demand for, uh, I should say. Uh, and, and where I'm going with this is a lot of times you don't, you know, uh, concrete contractors don't really understand the, how, how the consumers are interacting with the search engines. They think about the leads and, the, you know, they think about, hey, I just want to pay for the lead and let me get it. Well, if you really want to be here for the long term and want to do this right, you want to understand your search behavior. So let me take you right into uh, the Google Keyword Planner and I'm going to change my location to San Diego since we're there and uh, switch this up a little bit. 
And if I target concrete coatings as a search term, and I look at uh, the breakdowns by platforms on, on just overall, or overall in average, there are 16,670 average monthly searches coming in. The majority are coming from mobile devices and not all those searches are coming in for concrete coatings. So if, if someone is marketing your concrete, your concrete coatings company and they're telling you, hey, we're gonna rank you number one on Google for concrete coatings and then you come up, your website is coming up number one, you're coming up number one on the maps and, uh, and, and you're there for a month or two and you're, real, you, you know, you're asking yourself, hey, uh, you know, uh, how come I'm not getting any leads? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You're not getting any leads because there are only 40 searches per month coming in for that specific keyword in San Diego, right? So you, you get where I'm going with that. So keywords, not all keywords are created equal. So now if you're doing concrete coatings, what are some of the search terms that you should be targeting? Well, what about this? Uh, epoxy garage floor. Epoxy garage floor, even if you don't do epoxy, even if you do a polyaspartic, whatever the case is, whatever you do, as long as you do concrete coatings, I would be targeting epoxy garage floor in San Diego because that one gets 880 searches per month. Now, let me go ahead and take that that uh, search term and run it over in San Diego and kind of see, walk you through. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, you're gonna see that, that right right there on the top section, thumbtack comes up right there, they're running a Google ad, then a couple of local um, uh, concrete coatings companies come up, and then we have the Google Maps section. You can see that right there. So if you're not coming up here, you are losing money. If you're not coming up on the maps, you are losing money. So I strongly encourage you optimizing your concrete coatings company to come up for the right terms in the right service area. So, uh, so you know, not every keyword is the same. Sometimes you need to find the keywords that are going to actually start generating leads for you. And this is exactly what Home Advisor does, right? You saw their ad up there, you know, they show up number one on the ad, people are clicking on that ad, and then they are submitting their information, hence, they are uh, submitting uh, the lead and they sell the lead over to you. Now, let's look at other keywords here. Epoxy uh, floor coating, that gets 50 searches. Concrete stain, 320 searches. Now, the other thing I like to look at is, uh, here, let me, let me just categorize it by search volume. Okay, concrete stain gets 320 searches per month. Concrete paint, 260. Now, uh, this this is where where we start looking at the different service areas. Um, you know, very very more in depth, I would say, and because not every service area has the exact same keyword demand. So if I go to Houston, let's go ahead and see what Houston has for us. If we're targeting that uh, Houston area, uh, 1,900 on average, 1,900 searches for epoxy garage floor. Uh, now we have. Um, let me see here, garage floor paint 480, concrete paint 480, concrete stain uh, 720. Uh, we have concrete stain floors, concrete stain floors. This this search term comes up with 480 searches. Now let's go ahead and, and do that search over in Houston so that you guys can see this and can see the uh, demand there. And, and as you can see there, guys, uh, I'll wrap it up in, in a couple of minutes here, but uh, some of the things that, that are trending in, in for this specific type of keyword is on the very top, instead of looking at local ads uh, from other contractors, what we're looking at is uh, products, uh, products from uh, staining companies, and then we have pictures from stain, stained floors, and then we have the Google Maps section. Now, if you do that specific search over in, uh, over in Houston, Texas, and that you're making that search, I can tell you if you're making that search on a mobile device, you're going to see a couple of things. So let me see if I can do it right now. Concrete, stained floors, and then we're gonna do, okay, good, I'm gonna do San Diego. So I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see the ads, but we're going to get local ads here in the top section. Yeah, local ads on the top section, and then we have pictures, right? You saw the pictures right there. Uh, instead of seeing products, we're looking at local ads on the mobile device. We see the pictures, and after we see the pictures, what do we get? We get some questions. Okay, we get some questions, which you see it right there, right? 
questions, and then we have the handy dandy Google Maps. Now, the Google Maps is super important because this is where up to 37% of consumers will go to in, or, in order to interface with a local business, with a local contractor. So uh, I want to give you a couple of tips that you should uh, be paying attention to. Number one is reviews matter. So if you're a concrete coatings contractor and you're not getting reviews for every project, make sure that you do get a review uh, right after you present the project. That is the best time. As soon as someone compliments for the work, you know, you got to say this. You got to say the following. Hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Client, thank you so much for your services. You know, we're, we're a local concrete company or a concrete coatings company, and uh, we we basically get more customers by by the positive feedback that we we get from our satisfied clients. And uh, what we love to do is get your feedback on Google search. I can send you a link really quick uh, via text message, and if you could just fill it out here while while I'm here, um, you know, I can help you get that set up. Um, and then usually if you ask them in a positive way, uh, you, you know, you're going to get more than 50% of, of clients uh, give you a positive review on the spot. And the rest will tell you, yeah, sure, send me an email, whatever the case is. Uh, but what we do is for our clients, we give them scripts as well as we give them access to a platform that does it automatically, hands-free. You don't need to touch a button other than just tell us uh, the name of the client and uh, provide their information and we'll do the rest of the work for you. So anyways, uh, number one is get reviews. Number two, Number two is if you don't have a website for your concrete coatings company and your website does not just not just uh, mention concrete coatings, but actually tr- targets the different services and the different search terms that people are looking for in, in regards to your service offerings, uh, that is what you need to do. So uh, content that's unique, content that's relevant, content that Google loves, content that's going to let Google know that you actually offer all these different services that you actually, perhaps your main thing is not epoxy flooring and you're doing, um, uh, you're doing other, other types of applications, uh, but you want to get uh, clients that are looking for epoxy flooring, you can do a better job with other products. Well, that would be the case, right? You want to mention and you want to optimize your website so it comes up for the other service offerings. And I can tell you, uh, it, you know, this is a win-win for the consumer. So uh, the fact that you're building your reputation, you're sharing who you are, what you do, your service area, you're optimizing your website, you're showcasing uh, your, your, your work on your website, you're putting up pictures, that will help you out generate more concrete coatings leads. So again, if uh, you have any questions, you can go ahead and visit our website, concretemarketingcrew.com. And uh, what we do is we help flat work and decorative concrete contractors double their leads with our concrete marketing plan. And if you want to just get more information without uh, contacting us, not, not a problem. We have the ultimate internet marketing guide for concrete contractors. Just click on the link right on the homepage get yourself a copy, put your name and email, and that is going to be it. For everyone else listening in, thank you so much for listening in. My name is Danny Barrera, Concrete Marketing Crew, over and out. Have a great rest of your day.